Maybe I'm more Persian than I thought. And I'm only half. But there's times you need to turn it up. Halfies. If you're half, turn it up sometimes. Here's how I learned this. I went to an audition for a TV show called Guys Who Cook. All right? Some of you have seen it on YouTube. You see me? I cooked Zeresh Polo and Juje Kebab. You know about that? Yeah. That's it. And then we're going to layer the Zeresh and put more rice, layer the Zeresh and more rice. And you just lightly pour it on. And then we're going to put it on a low simmer for the next yeah. 40 minutes. Hundreds of thousands of people have seen the video, but very few have heard the story. So with your permission, I'll tell you the story right now. Who wants to hear the story? All right? Auditions work like this. You go in a room, and there's 200 dudes that look exactly like you. And you got to somehow stick out and impress these people in front of all these other guys. And you start hating on them right away. You're like, look at this dumbass. Look at this loser. He looks just like me, idiot. All right? And I'm sitting there in the waiting room, and I can hear... The lady calling people in, and I can hear what they're saying. The lady comes up, and she's like, all right, next on my list is uh, Dan. Well, Dan, oh, Dan, come on in, okay? And I can hear through the door. She's like, all right, Dan, if you were on the cooking show, what would you cook? He's like, uh, I would make some um, spaghetti. She's like, okay. Thank you very much, Dan. Uh, we've heard that about 15 times today. Uh, why don't you go on ahead? We'll let you know if we're going to book you for the show. He's like, all right, it's good spaghetti. I'm sure it is. Have a good one. And she called the next guy. She's like, will David come out here? Uh, is David here? He's like, right here. <laughs> All right, David, uh, could you please let us know, tell the camera, what would you cook if you were on our cooking show? I, I would make, um, I was thinking about making pizza. <laughs> okay, David, we're gonna let you know. Thank you so much. Or, or I could make spaghetti if you want. I could do both. <laughs> okay. I started to realize what was happening here. These women were bored. I needed to turn the Persian up. <laughs> I needed to crank it up to full blast, okay? So that's what I did. She goes, next is Kevin. Here I go, who are you calling Kevin? <laughs> My name is Kevin. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Kevin. Come on in, okay, okay, how are you? She goes, will you please tell me in the camera what you'd make if you got on our cooking show? I go, for you? What would I make for you? I'm cranking it up to full blast at this point. <laughs> I don't even have an accent. I have an accent for this lady. I go, for you? First of all, because I'm cooking, let me do one button for you. Okay? <laughs> That's more like it, okay? For you, I would make Zereshk Polo with Jujek Shabab. That's what I would make for you. <laughs> Zereshk Polo with Jujek Shabab for you. <laughs> she had never heard anything like that before. She's like, oh my God. Well, you, that sounds really, what did you say? I'm not telling you again. So you either got it or you don't. Check the tape, okay? She goes, you have to say it one more time. Let me go get my, uh, my head casting director. Could you, hold on just a second. Rebecca, please get in here. You have to see, yeah, he's like Middle Eastern or something. He sounds like Aladdin. You have to come see. I am not Aladdin, okay? Aladdin, he's Arab, I'm Persian, okay? Now, Rebecca comes out now. There's two beautiful women. They're like, she's like, okay, will you, she's drooling a little bit. She's like, Will you tell Rebecca and I what you would make for us if you got on our cooking show tomorrow? Oh my God, you, wait till you hear this, oh my God. I'm like, well, since there are two of you, you know, I have to, hold on one second, two more buttons. Okay, okay now I'm ready, okay? Two buttons, two of you. For you two, I would make Zereshk Polo with Juje Shabab. And if you're lucky, Masto Khiar for you, okay? Yogurt with cucumber. Don't worry where I get the cucumber. I keep it in a safe place for you. <laughs> they were so impressed. They're like, oh my God, we don't know what the hell you just said. You are on the cooking show. I'm like, you made a good decision. Khodafis, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> See you next time. Here's the problem. I don't know how to cook. <laughs> Zeresh Polo and Juja Kebab. No clue. Never cooked it. My Emma Shireen cooks it. My Aunt Shireen, she's the, she's the matriarch of our family. She cooks Zeresh Polo and Juja Kebab every Sunday, we eat it. So I call Emma Shireen, I go, Emma Shireen, good news. I'm gonna be on a cooking show tomorrow. I'm cooking Zeresh Polo and Juja Kebab. Oh my God, that's delicious. Wait a minute. Pedersak. Which, by the way, means your father is a dog. Right? 
The funniest part about that is my dad called me Pedarsag the first five years of my life. <laughs> Pedarsag, don't touch that. I'm like, Dad, that means you, okay? You're calling yourself a dog, all right? She's like, Pedarsag, why did you say you make Zeresh Polo and Juzek Kebab? You don't know how to make Zeresh Polo. I was like, I know, uh, I totally lied, okay? I need your help, that's why I'm calling. You're gonna teach me how to make Zeresh Polo and Juzek Kebab. And she goes, oh, I make it every Sunday. I'm going to teach you, don't worry. And that's when I learned, Middle Eastern women cook the best food in the world. Give it up for these ladies in the house. Cook the best food. You know it's the best. You don't know how to teach it at all. Emma Shereen's giving me the weirdest advice ever. She's like, first get a pot. I'm like, what size? A good size, get a good size. Okay, I got a pot. Put the pot there. I go, okay, I got the pot, now what? She goes, now what you want to do is put rice in the pot. I'm like, yeah, how, how much though? How much? She goes, a lot. Put a lot in the pot. Okay. What is this, Dr. Seuss rhyme? All right, hold on. I got a big old bag of rice. I fill, fill up the pot. Fill it up. A little more for the pot. Put that away. I go, okay, Phil, it's pretty full. All right. Now what? She goes, now the important part. Put water in the pot. I said, how much water? She goes, up to your finger. What? These were her instructions. A pot with rice and my finger. I can't be teaching this on TV, on a cooking show. But now I'm gonna finger the rice. This is for children. I am freaking out. The show is tomorrow. And I had no more, no more Persian swagger, okay? They're like, what are you cooking? I'm like, uh, I'm attempting to cook. Well, what I'd really like to make is spaghetti for you right now, if I could. <laughs> but if you must, I'll make you Zeresh Polo and Juju Kebab, all right? <laughs> I was so white. And I'm like, so like, this is really weird, but I'm gonna put a pot and rice and I'm gonna put my finger in it. Don't worry, it's, it's kind of weird, but I'm gonna stick my finger. It's supposed to go up to like one of my knuckles. I don't even know which knuckle. My aunt didn't tell me that part. You got a finger, I don't know, I know, it's weird. <laughs> and I don't know what happened, but maybe because the cameras were there, or my ancestors were with me, or my Emma Shireen was praying for me, but when I flipped over the pot, and I go, now I've made for you Zeresh Polo and Juju Kebab, I lifted up the pot, and it was perfect. I go, oh, thanks God, okay? <laughs> In fact, it was so good, I even had Tariq. Yeah, yes. Now I know some of you look confused. You're like, what's tadig? Tadig is the burnt rice that when you flip the pot, it ends up there. That's how good Persian food is. Even our burnt shit is delicious. People fight over it. And, and I know some of you are like, well, I have a lot of Persian friends. I've never heard of this tadig. This is too ethnic. No, it's not that you haven't heard of it. It's that we don't share it with you, okay? <laughs> Middle Eastern people can burn the rice and we just like, don't tell them about tadig. This is our little secret. Keep tadig to ourselves, okay? Keep that with, it means you fingered it perfectly. It came out perfect. 